<laughs> uh, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You know, got to listen to my... Drum music. Sorry. That was bright, Tosh. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. You guys got your water? I've been seeing blue and I think I'll light a blue candle. Don't you go out. Thank you. Excuse me. Chat is on. May the light of God surround me, the power of God protect me, the presence of God watch over me. Wherever I am, God is and all is well. Okay, you guys, come on in and answer their questions before I even read them. Thank you. Dana, usually, um, yeah, so, Granny says, stop being stubborn, so, I don't know what you're doing, so, would you, stop being stubborn, child, you stop being stubborn, you know,
She's sitting over in the corner shucking peas. And she's just looking across the kitchen at you. <laughs> I don't know what you did. I don't need to know what you did. But you stop being stubborn. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. You look like she brought company tonight. There's two or three other sisterly women with her. Excuse me. And um, it looks like they're having a A meeting of the minds, as it were. And they're, you know, over there whispering. And then they look at you like, you're in trouble. <laughs> so they're standing around. It's so, they're so cute. The stereotypical witches standing around a cauldron. And they're throwing stuff in, and with their mind, they're levitating stuff from the shelf. And they takes, and you know, they take the top off the jar, takes them out, toss it in, put the top back on the jar, and the jar levitates back to the shelf. It is so cute. It is so cute. Yeah. So Granny's saying, "Stop being so stubborn." Now, whatever message she had for you last, whenever I forgot ago. I, I don't know, but that's the message she has for you tonight. So, um, thank you. Okay, where are we? Let's find Ahmed. You're always the first one. Um, I'm sorry, hang on just one second. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. See, they changed it again, and now I gotta go figure it out. Sorry, hang on. <clears throat> To the person that was my friend, I accepted your message and it moved someplace and I don't know where it went. So, I'll find you. Don't think I'm ignoring you. I'll find you before I go to bed. Okay, I'm it. My mom just heard something back. Okay, so... <clears throat> The first thing I saw, I have to tell you the truth, is no. Now, I say it that way because last week you must have asked a, asked a similar question. 
Well, to you, it's not similar, but to spirit, it's similar because they must have given you an answer. Go look at that video. Because I'm getting the TV screen. So the old-fashioned TV screen that you had to get up and change the channel, that one, is just static. So usually when they're static or nothing, some part of this question already got answered. I don't know about that company, but anyway, the, what I do see is there's a huge party. Well, it's it's not huge. It's just a huge cake, which led me to believe it was a huge party. But there's only like seven of you standing around the cake. So, uh, and the cake says congratulations on it. So, it sounds like a new company to me, not the old company, okay? Yeah, it feels like a new, a starting over because in the background, okay, so imagine what, you know how offices have cubicles, right? So imagine the cubicle, like where the engineers would be and there's like room enough, office space enough for like 10 engineers, we're in that cubicle, okay? So the cake obviously is on the table. As soon as you walk in the cubicle, it goes right and left, right? So right there when you walk in is a little table and Either it's a little table with a big cake or <laughs> it, the cake is sitting on something really small, but it's flat and even. The cake isn't going to fall over or anything. Uh, and the cake is huge, huge. It's like two feet in diameter. So again, there's a huge congratulations, happiness, joy, and something because the cake is huge. Okay, so and the congratulations, it's funny. It looks like it's got, it's a white cake. The frosting thing is white the trim around the edges is pink and congratulations on the second small tier so it's a huge cake and then a small like one-year-old baby cake on top so when you're looking down at the cake you can see congratulations written all like half a halfway semicircle around the cake um and there's there's only like six of you in there so as i look over the cubicle tops it's it's all black back there, which would lead me to feel this is a new building, a new company, a new beginning, okay? So, there you go, and I love you. Don't type anything. Mimi, Pinky Tuscadero, Pinky Pinky. As the earth shifts and changes, are humans' bodies getting upgrades as well? I wish I had my Lemurian out and ready. Ah, speak and they come. Okay. Just like anything else in life, everyone is on a different level. Therefore, everyone will learn what they need to do when it's time for them to do it. If they choose not to upgrade, as you call it, then they will stay dormant. It is, as, as you would call it, like being in school. Everyone has the capability to get to the next grade, but
but not everyone chooses this method. Quite often, you humans insist on doing the silliest things. As in choosing to play, as you call it, instead of going to school to get to the next grade. Many of you will not progress. However, right now, little one, this is not your issue. Your issue right now is continuing to use your gift and learn how to use your gift. We on this side, you humans call us aliens. We laugh at that. See how you are paddling upstream, I think this vessel calls it. And we find that very charming. When we merely are trying to tell you to stay calm, there's no need to be concerned right now about tomorrow. Your specific purpose for being is a healer in many forms. We on this side would like for you to consider only concentrating right now on that, dear one. We hope you understand. We also would like to share the information with you, little one. There is no need to worry about that situation that you are so concerned about, as we also see that many of you humans have this big deal with secrecy. We too have a sense of humor in trying to keep your secrets. We on this side see that you have many questions. Little one, you concern your heart and mind with so many different things that need not even be thought of at this time in your particular life. We would like for you to only focus on your gift and making every attempt at using them freely. There is no wrong, there is no right. We would like for you just to have confidence in yourself and know that we as beings on this side without skin, as this vessel calls it, will speak for you as soon as your mouth opens, dear one. We would like to encourage you deeply to know that you are right. All will be at peace. And there is no need to worry about mother. She is fine. Thank you. Tabitha? Really? Tabitha, are you over there?
Okay, well, I'm rolling on to the last person. Okay, but you don't have to try and watch the video. Just so long as you're here, the video will show up later, honey. Um, I'm not, I'm not even going to say that question out loud because I don't want to give it any extra energy. And after tonight, I would hope that you don't give it any extra energy either, okay? Uh, yes, there's three people that don't exactly like you. But that's your purpose for being, to not even let that affect you anymore, okay? Be quiet. Speak when you're spoken to and be quiet. I don't see anybody getting I, I don't see anybody getting fired or leaving or anything like that. Just be quiet. You have to learn how to protect yourself all the time. Not just at work, not just at home, not just in the car, all the time, everywhere. You have to learn. We all have to learn to protect ourselves from everything that is not 1,000%, okay? It's not a, just a, a, you know, one morning prayer thing. And I say it, you know, strenuously like that because I have had like 25 people come to me today. I need a protection, you know, spell. I need a protection ritual. I need a protection. You, We all need to sit down and be still. Okay? As soon as you wake up, you just put yourself in... A bubble. Whatever. I put myself in a redwood tree because I like trees. And I'm big. And those roots are 300 feet up and 300 feet down. So I think that'll hold me. You can put yourself in anything you want to protect. You must protect every single day. Every day. All the time. You must stay protected. It's just like, you know, uh, they're showing me a picture of people getting baptized, you know, in the in the pool, wherever they have the baptized th pool thing in churches. Uh, you know, it don't, it's only waist deep. You stand up, <laughs> you know. So it's not like you're going to be too overly protective or anything. You're in the water. The water's on every piece of your body. You're protected. Okay, so you could just dunk yourself in water and and just pretend that you're in water all day. You can zip yourself up in, in a big, huge gold bubble, whatever color you want. Don't matter at this point. Just do it. Okay, now for that situation that you asked me about, you could just get them like a little tiny cute baby cactus. Hee hee hee, look what I got you. Hee hee hee. There you go. Okay, or if you have, if you're, um, it looks like you share space with people. Um, so in that case, I'm, I'm serious. I would just get me, you know, some, I would have a little tiny cactus in my space. Or, uh, if you can, you know, put some, put some salt down. I'd put some black salt down because this is, this is just a mess. So, I'd put some salt down and, you know, around my chair or whatever your space is. Put it there. And when you get to work, you know, 10 minutes early... I would sit there and call on the ancestors and tell them to keep them away from your energy. <clears throat> what I what I know happens is, you know, where the mind goes, the behind follows, right? So, since you're spending a lot of time thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, what if, what if, could have, should have, whatever, all that's going to add up into a huge vibration bank. And if you keep thinking about that, it will explode, okay? Tabitha. I know it's challenging, but you really have to fight the urge to talk about it to even think about it. When you go there, you know you put on whatever you want to call it, the full armor of God, whatever you want to call it, call it. But you have to learn how to protect yourself, okay? And if you keep thinking about it, I promise you it's going to happen. 
whatever you focus your mind on is going to happen. Okay? So, I want you to focus your mind on why did I choose this lesson? Now, I don't I don't know you. You could not be into spiritualism. You could have just dropped by for a free reading. That's all well and good, but I still have to tell you what I what I hear. Okay? Once you are protected and stay protected, and that's even your home, even your home, get grounded, stay protected, you protect the property that you're on, you protect everything all the time. If you go to the thrift store, you sage that shit before you bring it in the house, okay? If there's somebody you don't even like, don't associate with them. You know, like I was telling people in the earlier video, you know, use me for a scapegoat. You know, Tasha's waiting. I got to go. Because the more you s s gossip and do all that ear hustling shit, the bigger it's going to be, the bigger it's going to be, the bigger it's going to be. And then you're going to be have experiencing your, your nightmare that you just created. You see what I mean? So, again, I don't I don't see that happening right now. But you could talk yourself into it easily. Okay? Okay, honey, thank you. Whoever has a headache, you need to go take some aspirin. And whoever's nauseous, you need to go drink a little bit of salt water. Is you can't just be sitting there being nauseous. Go drink some hot water, some salt water. Whoever has the headache, um, go have some jasmine tea or some, uh, I don't know if you got herbs, but some calendula tea, something. You got to get rid of that headache. It's, it's driving me crazy, okay? So get rid of the headache, honey. Um, who is this? Uh, Maureen, are you there? That is not a specific question. Okay, well... Take something. <sighs> I just see you sitting on your sofa, kind of like you're meditating. And you're frustrated about something. That's why you're sitting down to meditate. And they're like, just let it go. What's wrong with you? Just let it go. You know it doesn't serve you any good to continue even thinking of that person's name. Let it go. They have the right to be stupid. Let them. And then go fix yourself something really yummy, yummy, yummy to eat that you would like not normally eat like a, I don't know, chocolate dream pie or something. I don't know. Put on something funny. Get in your jammies. And just have a good laugh. Because all of us, when we do that, when we take time, to, oh, god damn, Tasha, she's so stupid, she just keeps, da, 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 da. that just bites away, bites away, bites away, bites away, bites away at your spirit, like a, a virus, you know, the matrix, it's, it's like the matrix, and this is for all of, all of you, even people who watch this that's not here right now, you know, <clears throat> there's still that man at your door, knocking, I don't know when you're going to let him in. Oh, when the flowers grow. When the flowers grow. 
April showers bring May flowers, May. So be ready. You can't be worrying about whatever that was that gave you a headache earlier. You can't be worried about that no more. You have to learn to let that go. They have a lot of other stuff for you to be working on besides thinking over and over and over like me. I, I was really bad about thinking about stuff, hanging on to something like, you know, let's say I went to your house and you fixed me this beautiful meal, right? And I dropped the fork. I would be thinking about that fucking fork for a week. Why did I do that to myself? So that's the time I instantly replaced that thought with something else like Bugs Bunny. So then I'm thinking about Bugs Bunny all the time. Well, what the hell? But he's thinking about a fork I accidentally dropped. And then I got your carpet dirty. And then now you got to clean the spot off the carpet. And I wonder how much that cost. And oh my God, should I pay her for the carpet? <laughs> yeah. Now I might think about dropping the fork. And then I say, I'm sorry. You know, you want me, you know, get, you know, I got 20 on it. You know, I give you 20. You know, you I, here, let me give you 20. I can take the 20. It'll make me feel better. And then usually before I go to bed, it, that's gone. You know, because I can't keep beating myself up because I got a spot on your carpet. And that's all. That's all. All, 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 all issues. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? We've well, seen thousands of spirit movies, honey. I know you have. So just pretend with me. Pretend like we're the spirit on the outside of our bodies looking in. How silly we are. We To worry about such silly things. Tomorrow is going to come and you're going to say, Ah. Oh, Tasha ain't thinking about me. You know, fuck that stain. It's just a little stain. You know, carpet cleaner people come. You know, it's just a little spot. Just a little, you know, you know, put some of that spray stuff on it so you know it it repels you know stains and stuff. Scotch guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thirty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. And that's it. Just like in all problems, all problems. And I don't care what you guys say. Oh well, you know I, you know my husband died, my baby died. Yeah, that's just, all. Pain is the same. It's pain. It's painful. We cry. We hurt. We grieve. We mourn. But the question is, when do you, when do you choose to stop mourning? My sister died. That wasn't fun. It's the same as. Me being late on my rent. Me not having any money for rent. Me not having any food. You know? When I was homeless, I didn't think about being homeless. I thought about having a room to rent. An apartment to rent. <coughs> a house to rent. You know? And it passed. So we're going to live today, today, now, in the now. <coughs> And when that, there, I don't know, some redheaded lady is kind of, excuse me, she's just, you have to put a stop to that. She needs to go. Stop being nice. We can't be nice all the time, honey. We cannot. Sometimes you just got to be real. And say, you know, I just don't need this. There's something better. And you're going to have something better as soon as you get rid of that red-headed girlfriend. <laughs> she's okay. I mean, she's not trying to kill you. But still, who wants something just, just taking a little baby bird bite out of you? Just a bite every single week. And then there won't be none of you left. She done ate you all up trying to be you. Because she's jealous or she's petty or she's angry because, you know... I don't know, your husband wants to still buy you stuff and you guys aren't even married no more. And she wants that. She wants people to pamper her and take care of her. You know, whatever. It's, it's stupid, petty little things because all I'm seeing is little baby sunflower seeds. <clears throat> and these birds are eating the little sunflower seeds. That's a little tiny, petty-ass problem. Fuck that shit. Get rid of her. Sorry. It would behoove you to get rid of her. And that will allow better energy to come to you. With that better energy, everything around you then, of course, changes to make you do more of what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing, uh, I don't know, it, uh, 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 they look like tarot cards, but it's not tarot cards. It's not like, you know, the writer deck. It's, 
I don't know. It looks like... Uh, it looks like some... The only way I know how to put it is they look like them old-fashioned Mexican or, or like cards that a, a Santero would use. Uh, so it's like, imagine a regular size deck of cards, like tarot cards. Okay, tarot cards is a little bit bigger, but you know what I mean. Just, just follow along. <laughs> uh, so imagine a tarot deck, but they're like, have Latin type pictures okay so there's the skeleton and he's dancing but he's dancing with a sombrero okay and he has on his pancho okay and he's drinking uh la ponche the the, the punch with the peanuts in it and 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 fruit in it it's so funny because i could see oh it is so good if you've ever had la ponche Punche, it is so good, but it's um, one of those things that, you know, Mexican people make in the bathtub, usually at, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Anyway, so that's what's on one. In the background, it's all black. Look for cards with black in the background. So one has a skeleton. He has a sombrero with a red rose in it. And as I turn the cards over, then there's a... Um, Aguilita. Aguilita is, uh, ¿qué es eso? Aguilita is, uh, grandmother. Okay, so this old lady, and she's, like, doing her, um, crocheting. Okay? And she has her, you know, her little wrap that she made on, and she's got the little thing, like, she's Catholic people on their head. The little, um, ¿cómo dices? Um... The little thing, crochet thing on her head. <coughs> and and still, in okay, so we can see her over there on the card, right there on the green couch, when she's at the table there hold, with a, a basket holding her uh, yarn and her other knitting needles and stuff. But still, in the back, it's black, black, black background. The next card just has four roses in it and it, with the little border. It is so beautiful. I've never seen these cards like on um, Google or Amazon or something. Like, I've never seen these cards. So by, by me saying that, I want to first consider the fact that these will probably be given to you. Other than that, <clears throat> you're going to walk into a botanica. I'm sure you have one in your neighborhood and you're just going to get the urge one day and you're going to say, Hmm, what is that? Let me, you know, you know, Tosh isn't coming for the two hours. Let me, let me go see what that is. And that is a botanica. So when you walk in, you know, you got your rows and rows and rows and rows and rows. Most botanicas I've been to are huge like Walmart. You know, okay, okay, two 7-Elevens, okay? <laughs> um, and you're going to find those cards in that little time. It doesn't have no sign or nothing on it, okay? Pero it's like this. Uh, what do you call the thing with the 7-Eleven? And then there's a little, I don't know, hookah thing. And then there's a, um, a place to buy cigars. What do you call it? A strip mall thing? A strip mall thing. Okay, so it's in a little strip mall thing that you haven't, you know, been in that neighborhood for a long time. And there's, like, nothing on the door. There might be just a picture of uh, Mary, Mother Mary, okay? So, of course, that means people are going to think that's a Catholic store. Because, you know, a lot of the African religious traditions, like Santero, Santeria, Paolo, Ipa, uh, you know, stuff like that uses those those catholic images for other reasons you know what i mean i know you know so it it just has a picture like <coughs> of mary on the door so you're and it's green this particular bo uh, botanica is something over there like a liquor store or something i don't know and there's something over there so these parking three parking spots right here in front of that door are open okay but for some reason you park way over there i don't know why maybe you just like getting exercise <laughs> so you're gonna walk to the green and you're gonna just you know peek in and look so oh. well it smells good let me go in 
So you're gonna go in and you're gonna find a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Bring. I hope you got a big purse, cause you're you're like, eh, eh, eh. oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, let me get that. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Let me let me get that. Oh, that's kind of. Well, I don't know what that's for, but it looks cute. I'll figure it out later. Let me get that. You know, and then you're gonna run into these cards. Okay. Now these cards are going to, again, totally change your vibration. Okay. So once you open them. It's you're gonna feel like you know how sometimes when you don't drink soda for a long time you go Ugh. you know well at least I do because I don't drink a lot of soda and that effervescent stuff it just uh, you know you know what I mean so you're gonna have that uh, feeling right and so when you take the cards out it's gonna make you like go because you're gonna like zoom in like you know how they do on TV when they zoom really fast yeah, you're going to have like that feeling, okay? And uh, you're going to be like, oh, it's going to fake you. It's going to fake you feel. It's going to make you feel like you just instantly went to another life and you pop back just like that, okay? And then you and turn, turn the next card. And the same, the same, the same, the same. And it gets powerful, powerful, powerful. So it looks like it was used already. So don't be afraid to buy it, but I would smudge it. So after you go card by card by card by card, I don't know about you, but that's what I do when I get a new deck of cards from somebody because I don't usually buy cards. They're always given to me. And you bless each and every one and you say, okay, old person, you got to go. You know, this is my domain now. You can leave the secrets with the cards. So when you touch the cards, the person that you're giving the reading to, their information instantly comes into your head. Okay? So, um... Yeah, so stop thinking about that. Let her go and then know that some extra cards are coming to you. Okay, so that deck of cards along with your other cards <clears throat> is going to push you into a different direction. <clears throat> I don't know what direction. I just see you at like, you know, the crossroads the intersection. Sorry. And you're like standing there at the at, at a crossroad. It's so funny because it, it only looks like... <laughs> One lane, not two lanes, not going and coming. There's only going. <laughs> only one lane, one lane this way and one lane this way, which, you know, we would consider to be like one way streets, you know. So you're only going one way and that's successfully. OK, uh, I don't know if you paint or not some or somebody around you that paints, but somebody's painting, painting, painting and they're painting. Let me see. So you gotta, you have to mirror. Okay, so I'll mirror me. So from your perspective, looking at me, this the window is on this side, and the easel is this way against against this wall. The window is right here. It's a huge, like it takes floor to ceiling, uh, a, a, a window. Okay, so the window's here. The person in, easel is like two feet from the window because the sun is coming in on the painting. So the painting is of a, um, uh, uh, the Victorian type pic picture, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, in a bowl. And I'm particularly fond of this one because I used to have that picture and bowl. And of course, it's huge. So the picture only focuses on the picture in the bowl, blue, blah, 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 blah. white background, the picture and the bowl, white background, blue flowers all different types of flowers in blue all the way around the pitcher all the way around the bowl and then on the rim of the bowl is uh gold okay so i don't know what that means to you anyway so now i'm i'm taking a step back because i was like you know a foot away from the easel thing right so now that i take a step back and look there's flowers there's wildflowers and sunflowers and Oh, calla lilies. Oh, calla li oh, there's some um, purple calla lily, uh, a deep burgundy calla lily, and there's red calla lilies, which I've only seen once or twice in my life. And, um, of course, the usual white calla lilies, but the, the, this uh, picture is just stuffed with flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. So I don't know what that's about. Take a painting. Somebody's painting is coming. I don't know. I don't know. And I say it that way because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, 
some new spirit is coming and it's like coming through this picture it's not a bad thing it's all good stay calm uh, <clears throat> I don't know that's all they're telling me so in like the sunflower which you know sunflowers are huge so that takes up a lot of the picture I can see a face inside the brown part of the sunflower. I can see that the there I can see that there is a person there, but I cannot see their features. Okay, so whoever that is, they're attached um They're attached to I want to say they're attached to the picture inside the picture. I know you'll know what that means. But I can't see who's painting this picture. <clears throat> Whoever it is, the only thing I can see right here on, on his or her shoulder is some blonde hair. All I can see is little baby wisps of hair. So I'm trying to move back, but I all I see is the picture. So I don't know, honey. There you go. There you have it. There it be. There's a George and there's a... There's a George and there's a Terrence and there's a... Who are you? She can't hear you. I don't know why you're looking at her for it. James, thank you. You could have just said that. He's so stubborn. You are too. Uh, and actually, there's a lot of men here for you. But I don't have time to mention all those names. They're, okay, so those three, they're just like, tell her, tell her we see her, tell her, tell her she's doing really good. Don't worry, stop worrying. You're doing really good. Don't worry. It's all good. Yeah, just, just stick to your, your crafts and have fun. You need to have more fun. And it's like all three of them are talking, saying the same thing at the same time, but you can hear the different tones and pitches of their, of their voices. They're all scream, screaming at the same time. And then the other men in the background are like, yeah, tell, don't forget to tell, and don't forget to, oh, tell her I came by, tell her I came by, tell her. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. And they're all men. They're all men. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so, so um, you know, one of those cheerleader blowhorn things. Is, tell her, tell her, yeah, you should do really well. Eat, drink some more water, you relax some more. You doesn't have to always be so perfect and eat everything really good. You can have a snack every now and again, you know. <laughs> and it's so cute. Okay, now there's a lady. She's <laughs> she's so cute. So <laughs> there's this lady. She's in uh her. What do you call those pants that are cut off? Uh, pedal pedal pushers yeah she's got on pink pink pedal pushers and she has on a white um a white um <sighs> stretchy that knit stuff you know with the zipper halfway up the back you remember in the 60s <laughs> i think you're old enough <laughs> And, um, and of course she's got her sweater over her shoulders with a little claspy thing and it looks like she's got black hair you remember when they used to put the bandana the um, stretchy bandana thing right and you push it back and then you comb some of the hair out so I don't know who that is but she really is a doll and I see that she's fallen off her bike but the important part is she fell off her bike and and it and she's limping a little so she's um, scraped her left knee but there's no mark on her pants so I don't know what that is think about it um and she's just standing there like don't you remember me so I don't know who it is she's not telling me her name she looks like a a, a door uh not Doris Day a Snow White something with the little but her hair is is like this but 
at first I saw her with a little boot, like that girl. You remember the little flip hairstyle thing, the boot, the big hair with the little flip? I know you know. And but now it's like she cut it off. So it's like this now. She's got a little a little a little dink. Okay, a little dink, a little poof, okay? A little baby poof. Not a big poof. And uh so she's showing me her hair. And so now she has me zoomed in on her earrings. And she has little white, it looks like a, a, a daisy, a daisy, a daisy, okay, a daisy. She's got on these little itty bitty daisy earrings that I have the feeling you might have given her. And other than that, she's just standing there. There's nothing in the background, if you could imagine that. Just her pink bike with her pink pedal pushers and her white shirt and white sweater drawn over her shoulders and her impeccable hair and now these earrings. So, I don't know. There you go. Think about it later. But you're, you're doing better than you give yourself credit for, so stop abusing yourself. Okay, I know you're not really abusing yourself, but you know what I mean, right? So, it looks good. It smells good. You're, you're doing fine, honey. You're doing fine. Really, you are. Really, 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 you are. Just trust me. Just trust them. Okay, there you have it, there you be. And I'm gonna refresh and hopefully that message will come back. Damn it, where do messages go now? Shoot, I feel bad. Great. I accepted somebody's message. Now they're going to think I'm rude because I can't find it. <sighs> I don't know. I got to figure that out later. But in the meantime and in between time, let me see what you guys are talking about over here now. Hang on. Sorry. La the tablet is this way and the desktop is this way in case you guys are are wondering oh see Keith knows are you are you are you on YouTube or are you you have to be on YouTube duh um, Jamie Campbell I didn't get a question from you so no I wouldn't be talking to you honey I only talk to the people that left a question. Um, Maureen Keith said those cards. Are you on your, um, well, here, I'll just do this. Damn, this is too much thinking. Sorry. There you go, that's what he said. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss nothing. Hi Unity, it's so nice to see you. Thank you for being here. And everyone else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, it's a um, caftan. You would so love these. Yes, you would. I know ya. Well, honey, if you left a personal message for me, like my sign told you to do, then I would have it and answer you. Let me refresh. I just do that move. Hmm. Okay. 
Come on now, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, shoot. Okay, I don't have any other questions, honey. Did you have a question? You can ask it real fast. Oh, before I, I read that question, let me tell you guys, when you see this later, and for whoever's watching this video later, how I choose to do it is you leave a message in personal message on Fridays, not Tuesday, not Sunday, on Fridays, on Facebook. So that way I can just go down the list and look at everybody's question. If you leave it over here in YouTube land, I mean, if in in uh, in in uh, YouTube land, it might get lost, and I gotta scroll up, and yeah. So I'd rather eliminate all that, and then if I forget somebody, I'm gonna feel bad because I'm just crazy like that. So if you leave a, me a personal message on Facebook, that's why I'm always turning to look over here because I have junk over there, and I don't want you guys seeing my junk. Okay. So, otherwise, we'd be over here. <laughs> and I can look back and forth. <laughs> so next week, we'll be over there, okay? After I clean up my crap. Is, so is that your question? Jamie? <clears throat> See, now that's a good specific question. Okay. No. Be still. Sit back. Relax. Uh, okay. I know you don't know me very well. At least I don't think you do. And if you do, you already know I'm kind of blunt and aggressive. So I just spit it out. And if you don't like it, well, that's okay too. So the first thing that I see is the chalkboard. Now, I usually get the chalkboard, the old-fashioned kind, you know, it's on legs, right? And it's the kind you flip over because once you're full on this side, you just flip it over and you erase it later. So that's what I see. Or the TV when things are kind of, mm, or when the spirits coming to you aren't very, very super duper strong because I can't see nobody. I just see the chalkboard. So they write the message on the chalkboard for you, okay? So... Your message is in a green chalkboard this time. Usually it's black. Try too hard. I don't know. Figure that out later. Uh, you're not supposed to be there. You're not even supposed to be there. So let me just tell you what I see and you can think about it later. You know how in movies they split the screen so there's one person on this side and then there's another person on this side? So in that split screen, you're over here. And over here is nice and calm and quiet. And over here is a bunch of junk and garbage. And he says, she said, bullshit. And people are at the water cooler. And, you know, the bosses don't listen to the employees. And so forth and so on. You know. And over here, it's nice and cool and calm and quiet. And people are having, ooh, a birthday party. <laughs> you know? So, I don't know if you've considered it, but you might want to. So, what I see now is this big, huge, beautiful, and I don't know where you live. I live in the Silicon Valley where there's lots of these buildings. So, it's normal for me. But this one, I cannot say that I have seen. So, just, just work with me, okay? Because I see things in funny pictures. That's just how my spirits are. They're funny as hell. So, it's, I've never seen a blue tinted window building and it looks like it's four stories high uh, with a blue tint. The bottom two and a half feet or so is in little tiny blue tiles. Now, I don't know if that's where you are now, but I, I think that's where you're going to be if you choose. If you choose to stay there, you're going to have to learn to protect and ground yourself. And even more challenging, 
You're gonna need to learn to just be quiet and not say nothing. They don't really care. You know? So, it, it's, it's your choice. It's your choice, you know? So you have to figure out clearly and specifically what you want to do. Are you, are you ready to move on and be happy elsewhere? Are you ready to, I don't know, it looks like you're doing something at home. At first I saw, you know, um, the embroidery hoop and then I saw some paints and then I saw some um, herbs and leaves on the table that would tell me that you're a healer. Um, and then um, I saw like watercolors and stuff. I don't know what that means, but anyway... Make a choice, stick to your choice, follow your passion, and if you choose to stay there, you might also choose to learn to just be silent. Just do your work like a robot and go home. Do your work and go home. And, that, and that's it, okay? You will progress. Yes. When you are ready to let go of all that crap that you're hanging on to, your heart feels so heavy right now. It looks like there's a, a anvil. You know in the cartoons, the anvil, and it crashes on top of their head. <laughs> it feels like you have the weight of an anvil inside your heart right now, you know? And see, you said, but. But cancels out everything you just said before that. Um, leap and the net will appear. Oh, okay. Good. Leap and the net will appear. Be specific. Be very, very specific, down to the penny, down to the crossed T, down to the dotted I, everything. Then jump. You're going to be happy. Totally different vibration. Totally different people. Totally different everything for you. And by the same token, there's a lot of things you could just choose to let go of. Like that little whispering gossipy friend too, except her hair is brown. Well, her real hair is brown. Yeah, that one. You know who I mean. I can see you. That one? Yeah, that one. Not to say that they're, you know, evil or a demon or anything like that. But if you're trying to get up the ladder, why would you associate with people who are trying to keep you down? And I don't mean down in the aspect of like she wants you to be in the mud with her doing, example, drugs or something like that. I mean down because people are jealous of you because you're a good person, first of all. And a lot of people get jealous by that, believe it or not. But just the little, you know, just those little fucking whispers and, and, and um, what do you call it? Gossip, you know, here and there and... You don't need that. You're a good person. I can see your vibration clearly. You got a cute little rainbow vibration with a little unicorn at the end. <laughs> there's a bu little bucket of gold on this end. And there's a unicorn on this end. So I know you have to be a very wonderful, beautiful person. You know? So it's your choice. Hold your breath and jump. Make it. Because the longer you don't decide, the more you're going to keep thinking about this. I don't want to say your life is going to be crap, but it's not going to improve a lot if you don't just choose to choose. You see what I mean? Oh, good. Okay. Well, I hope that helps, my dear. Okay, guys. Anything else before I go? I'm hungry. Jamie, you've never had a reading before? Wow. Well, now... <laughs> you you are no longer a virgin. <laughs> and, 
and, and you must forgive me. I know I'm not like other readers, you know, but I just have to, I have to tell you how they, how they tell me. And I don't sit here thinking about the words. I don't, I don't, I can't give any of that any consideration. I'm the telephone. Whatever they say, I say. And if I say something that they don't say, then that's usually when you see me close my eyes and I'm like, oh, was that okay? And they'll say, no, say this. And then I'll have to say, I'm sorry, Jamie. What they said was, duh, 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 duh. you know what I mean? Oh, bless your heart, honey. Thank you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Did you have a question, Unity? You may not have had a question, but girl, them ancestors are dancing and hooping and hollering and happy for you. Happy with you. Yes, they are. They're having a big old huge party for you. Oh, God. Now the food. Ugh. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, Jamie, did you have any other questions, honey? Anybody else have any questions? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> oh, that's where I was. So, Jamie, <laughs> see? All you guys that don't talk to spirits, I don't know how you live your life. <laughs> I'd be stopping in the middle of a sentence all the time. So, as you can tell, yay, congratulations. See, now I'm going to have to hop on over to your channel while I eat my pizza. And if you shared the news on YouTube, but congratulations, you deserve it. And for those of you who don't know, go on over to her channel, buy some of her jewelry. It is so amazing to just watch her videos where she's actually drawing and painting and creating. It is just so, so, so beautiful. Oh. Oh. See, on, on the tablet, the message goes up and then it disappears in like 30 seconds. Okay, who are you hating? Okay, Jamie, did you have any other questions? Yeah, it did that in my other video about two hours ago, and now it's doing it on this one. Oh, thank you. Isn't she great, Keith? My her work is just beautiful. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Sensitive spiritually or sensitive, you get your feelings hurt easily. No, wait, really? Oh my gosh, what an honor. Thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't wait. Though, you know, sister... Um... You know, sister's here. And she's like, yeah, she's, she's really going to be getting all of her good. So whatever this is, is just a little teeny bit. And more and more and more is coming. Oh, okay, Jamie. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to let you guys go. My stomach is going to start growling. And you know fat shit got to eat. That's P-H-A-T. Everybody does readings different. I have what they call Claire's. You know, there's five senses. I have all of those plus some, plus some, plus some, plus some. I'm, I'm not the type of person that's going to say anything I'm not supposed to say. Like, a lot of people want to know if they're, when they're going to die. I don't do that. Some, you know, people want to know, oh, is, 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 
you, did my boyfriend, you know, fool around with Boo Boo Kitty? I, I don't do that. I, I don't do a lot of that. Very rarely will spirits tell me to answer a question to you about somebody else. Unless they're on their deathbed or choosing to stay or go or something like that, you know. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, see, and a lot of people don't realize a lot of things are better off not knowing. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. You know? If you, but my thing is on a really on a different topic, and I won't dwell into that. But if you have to ask, what does that tell you about the situation? But anyway, so this is this is just me. You know, my guides and spirits are very funny and comical. I'm naturally very funny and comical, and sometimes I'm not, and people get pissed. But I I can't care about that. If, you know, Granny came in and told me to tell you to drop that guy, then I have to tell you that. It's your choice to do whatever you want to do. You still have free will. And a lot of people can't deal with people like me, you know, just bleh. And I, I don't care. I'm, it's not my position to care what you think or feel or whatever. It's my position to give you the message. That's it. You know, they always say, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you know, so... I appreciate you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So having said that, you should know I'm probably going to be here saying something crazy at least every other day because I'm trying to get back in the swing of making my YouTube videos. So until I can go live on the Angels Tube channel that is also for my business, the Angels Network, then I'll be here, but hopefully they'll fix it to where we have, we can go live on every single channel. Oh, how sweet. That is so nice. Well, congratulations to both of you on the new opportunities. That's so nice. Way to go. Good for you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wow, that's so wonderful. I, I'm like, what do you so what did you choose to do? What did you choose to do? Anyway, it's none of my business. So I'll be here. I'm on Facebook, Tasha Speaks at gmail.com. I'll be happy to friend anyone and everyone. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, honey. Bless your heart. And you know, I I got Fired from three jobs because I just talk way too much and now that I'm older I learn to just be still nice to meet you too thank you <laughs> oh bless your little heart honey it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right so tomorrow I want you to come back and tell me what you chose okay or sorry sorry whenever you decide I want to know if for no other reason, so we can go and bless that and make it good and make everybody absolutely love, appreciate, and value you. You know? Congratulations, congratulations. I am so happy for you. Wow. All this wonderful success, progress coming in. Huh, sister? Yeah, sister is... Sister is just jumping up and doing, jumping up and down for you, Unity. She's just jumping up. Oh, you know what I see now? <laughs> she has, uh, you know, at um, if you're still here, Unity, uh, she has a, uh, you know, the carts that are, are real small now at like Dollar Tree and whatever. And she says, <laughs> "Girl, look at this here. I gotta go get another shopping cart. I just filled this one up." So she's like, watch my cart. Don't mess with my stuff. Do you, do, don't take none. Don't put it back. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go get another cart because these carts are too damn small, you know? And she's buying you all oh, this supplies, 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 supplies. <laughs> oh my goodness, how funny. 
Oh, thank you, sister. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Anyway, she did mention something about a contract. Oops. <laughs> to do your work. So, I bless you. I honor you. My gosh, you have worked so hard and you've come so far. You really deserve it. Okay, see, now is when I start to babble a lot, Jamie, and um, I'm going to shut up and put my candle out before it breaks my glass. Okay, so, you are so, so, so welcome, my dear. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> okay, you guys, go be good to yourself. I'm going to go stuff my fat face. That's P-H-A-T. Okay? I love you. Have a nice evening. <laughs> and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Because, you know, I talk a lot. <laughs> I try. I'm a big old baby Aries. I try to stay lovable and huggable. How's that go? Lovable and huggable like Yogi the Bear. Who is that? Salt and Pepper. Sorry. I love you guys. Go be good to yourselves. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.